hello and welcome to today's tutorial today i would like to talk about one of the common motors that i used in a number of projects including robotics and many more and that is the servo motor in my other previous tutorials i've talked about the dc motor and stepper motors today i would like to talk about the servo motor the difference between this motor and uh, maybe the common DC motor is that this motor can easily be positioned at a precise angle by giving it a signal to it. So today I'm just going to be showing you how to connect this motor to Arduino board and then in the coming videos I'll be giving how this motor is applied in different projects as you can see here it has only three wires it has a brown wire a red wire and an orange wire all yellow wire so the brown wire is going to be connected as you see here this is a brown wire we are going to connect it to the ground and then the red wire is going to be connected to the dcc or the power supply and then the yellow or orange wire is the one which is going to be connected to one of the analog pins of the Arduino board in this case i'm using pin 6 but you can use any analog pin like 9 10 yeah, any pin you like there then one other thing you have to take note of is that like all other motors it is always good practice to provide an external power source for the motor as is going to be shown in the schematic that I'm showing above here. However, if you're using only one micro servo motor, then there's no need of putting that power source because the 5 volts of the Arduino board are enough. However, if you have to use more than one motor, then always take or take not to use an external power source for the motor, as otherwise, you're going to destroy your board. That is a very, it's a very big not to take into consideration so from there let's have a small look at the code this is our simple program we're using the servo.h library which is an inbuilt library in the arduino ide so you don't need to look for the library anywhere else so just type the code and the code is very simple the major part of the code is we're going to use the my servo.attach object so that we can be able to clear the signal line which is the orange wire that was shown on the motor in this case being attached to pin 6 of the Arduino analog pin so the other one we are declaring the angle of the motor which is zero remember our motor is for moving from one angle to another so the purpose of this code is simply to move the motor from zero to 180 degrees and then from 180 back to zero like that in opposite direction you can now upload it to the board and see what the code really does so we are now going to use the Arduino board power supply in this case because we're only using one servo motor so we're just going to use the five volts from the Arduino board it's enough but always remember if you're using more than one motor always provide an external power supply for the motor let us now upload the code and see what happens so now you see the motor rotates to 180 degrees clockwise and then turns and clockwise that is what we had programmed in our code. 